Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're working with the Memories and More Sweet Thoughts Memories and More card pack and cards and envelopes, okay? So welcome back to Monday Mayhem. This is going to be a four-part series, so this is one of the videos of the four. <laughs> Before we start our project, we're going to go over some buzzworthy business. We have our paper pumpkin for February, sweet springtime. You have until the 10th of February to subscribe to get this kit that makes nine projects. And there is an add-on available of the Love of Spring dies for $12 for dies. This is the ordering number, and you do have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to get the add-on. The link in the description box below for you to subscribe to the Paper Pumpkin. Next, we have our mystery boxes. These are the medium flat rate USPS boxes that I have stuffed with new and used retired Stampin' Up! product. It's about $200 worth of products, plus or minus. I'm asking $25 for the boxes until the end of January. Um, the price will go up to 300 I mean, oh my goodness, to $30 um, starting February 1st because the postage has gone up. I can only ship this in the U.S. Shipping is included in the price of $25 until the end of January, $30 beginning February 1st. Stampwithshauna at gmail.com is where you need to email me if you are interested in purchasing a box. January host code, the code you need to use whenever you're placing an order with me, unless your order is $150 or more, don't use that host code because you're going to qualify for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stampin' Up! And during celebration, we don't want you to miss out on any of your freebies, like free celebration items if you order $50 or more before shipping and tax. Let's get to our projects because we have four to do and about six other cards to show you, okay? So our first card is going to be a real quick and simple one. This is the card base from the Memories and More. They're double printed, not double sided, but full card bases printed. And we're this is one of the memories and more cards that I have cut down to three and three quarters by five and three quarters. Where's my glue? And um, to fit onto the mat of pumpkin pie, not pumpkin pie, pecan pie um, card stock. We're just gonna mat this on here. I keep doing stuff out of order. I shouldn't have matted that yet. <laughs> I need to stamp. So we're going to be stamping in some pecan pie. And we're stamping, hello, I miss you from the Filled with Happiness stamp set. So let me go ahead and get that down. Just like that. And then we're going to add some stickers from the sticker sheets that comes in this um, card pack. So let's see. We want to add... I'm going to do one here. Mm. One there. And let's do one more. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll put it there. Okay, and we're going to decorate this with some brush brass butterflies. So let me get those out. I'm gonna take your pick tool. I'm just gonna add a couple of these butterflies on here. I don't know. Let's put one right here. And one more tiny one. These are so cute. Put it just like that, okay? And now, we're going to add this to our card base. And call this card done. Card number one, knocked out quickly. Okay, so let's get all this stuff out of the way and go on to our next card. The next one... Um, going to be using a thick basic white card base it's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and i've gone ahead and decorated the inside already we have some pieces from the envelope i cut down one envelope out of all the envelopes i only used one um because i realized that this pattern that's in the envelope was on two of the memories and more cards so we're going to use that this is one of the memories and more card that i've cut down for the sentiment 
And then we have a strip of basic black. This is five and a half by three quarters. And I think I'm gonna do some stamping on this one as well. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna stamp hello from the heartfelt hellos this is one of your free celebration items that you can earn with a $50 purchase really cute stamp set okay so we're going to stamp hello and we're going to stamp that about right here close to the edge of our card in, in memento tuxedo black my goodness i can't get my words out okay so let's go ahead and glue this on hmm i know it's not going all the way to the top this is the top <laughs> ah. come out glue So I'm just gonna line this up, leaving the tiniest border from the um the score line, the edge of the card. I just want a little border. I went a little higher than I thought. Okay. Then we're gonna take this basic black. And this right here is where the adhesive strip is for the card flap, the envelope flap, I mean. And we are just going to cover that up like so. Just like that. Let's get our scissors and cut this extra off. Okay. And then we're going to take our hello. I mean, our beautiful from the Memories of More. And we're going to get some Stampin' Dimensionals and pop that up. So let's go ahead and turn that over. Use all of your edges from your Dimensionals. These are just as good as the hexagon Dimensionals that are in the middle. So I take my edges and cut them down to little pieces to use. On um, things like, you know. Like this, I need that one. So let's go ahead and pop this up. Come off backs. So we're gonna pop this up right up under our word, hello. We're gonna take it all the way to the edge of the card. Is that straight? It looks straight. <laughs> Okay, and on this one, we're going to be using, where are my embellishments? Let's use some of the um, Adhesive Back Sequence Trio. Let's use a pretty peacock right here. We're going to use a berry burst right there. And let's use another berry burst. I know this is Calypso Coral, but the Berry Burst really does look nice with it. Okay, so there's another card done. Let me show you some of the cards that I've already put together. So these are the cards we just made. And then this one is um, one and the same, I do believe. This card, the back of this was this, and I cut it in half, trim this, put another piece of that same card behind, tucked it under it to make this fit the three by four. This love is from one of the cards. Then I used the 3D embossing folder, um, the basics 3D embossing folder from the online exclusive pack of three. On here, we use that same embossing folder, the heartfelt hexagon punch. I did some splattering and did stamp some splattering from the uh, quiet metal dies, not dies, quiet metal stamp set. And this is the memories and more card. This one I just cut up Actually, this was two cards. I cut them up and was using it for the other side for different things. And this is what I had left. So I just made a card out of it. Okay. And that's the inside. Did I show you the inside of this one? Some of them I didn't really do much decorating. Okay. And this is the last card 
for this set. This was a Memories of More card, the um, Clips of Coral. This was a separate one with this floral and the So Sweet. And then I stamped, You're Absolutely Amazing. And I don't remember where that's from. And I did the Happy Birthday. I think this is from um, Phrases for All on the inside. Okay. So that's our first set of cards. So let's move on because we have two more cards to make and more cards to show. So our next card is, um, I cut the card base down to five and a quarter, five and a half by four and a quarter. So this piece here, some memories of more card. Oh, this is so, that, see, this is this, some of that, um, what I just showed you. <laughs> so we're gonna put this down onto our card base. I'm sure this is probably um, four by five and a quarter since I cut the card base down. Yep, that's what it looks like, four by five and a quarter. Okay, and then this is one of the Memories of More card pack, and it's this. All I did, I, since you get two, I cut this out, and we're gonna use that. Um, Before that, oh, wait, wait. I did it again. I glued stuff down. I wanted to use a sticker, this long piece. So we need to cut this. Let's see if I can do get this cut. It might help if I put it on one of these lines to help me be straight. Cause you guys know me and straight, we're not exactly friends. So let's see if I can cut this. Oh, I did a good job. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to glue this down. I'm going to glue this down. And make sure your hearts are going in the right direction. And we're going to tilt it kind of cattywampus. Then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. So I'll use that last dimensional. We'll put that, since it's a half of one, over here in this little spot. Let me get another sheet started. Oh, these are all tiny dimensionals. I need to open another pack of dimensionals because I don't want to sit here with these tiny ones. Okay, we got those all stuck down and the back's taken off. And now we're going to put this straight on our card. We're going to try to get it straight anyway. About right there, just like that. And there you go. Isn't that cute? Let's add some bling to this. What kind of bling can we add? Do we want some more stickers? <laughs> no, we're not gonna use the stickers. Let's use some bling. I want some gold butterfly bling. So let's get the brush brass butterflies. Put a big one right there. I think that's it. I'm just going to put one. Yeah. I think that's cute. Just like that. Oh my gosh. That is a cute card. Okay. Let's move on to our next card. This one is going to be pretty quick and simple. There's no stamping involved on this one either. Oh, okay. Let me show you this. <laughs> this was part of the envelope. And I cut these because I was making other cards and I realized I had these two pieces left, but they were already cut. I glued them together. I mean, taped them together. And it's two and a quarter by four and a quarter. Whoop. And we're gonna put it on this piece of pretty peacock that is four and a quarter by two and three quarters. <laughs> Don't you just love how I write everything on the back of my my cards? I usually forget. Oh, I see. This is not quite. I have a little hem over there. And we're going to put this onto some crushed curry. And this is three by four and a half. Okay. And we're going to put this in the middle of our card base. Yep. 
just like this straight china let's try to get it straight then we have some um clips of coral that's three and three fourths by seven eighths and this is three and three fourths by three quarters this was part of the memories of more card pack and that's going to go end to end on that we're going to get some dimensionals Got these tiny ones again. Okay, so we have that put on, all the backs taken off, and we're gonna cover up that seam where those two pieces are put together. So I just wanna go right above it, like that. And we're going to add some sequence trio, the adhesive back sequence trio, and we're going to use the white, the little clear white sequence on this. Just like that. And that card is done. Okay, so let's see the cards. These are the two cards we just made. Let me show you three more that I made earlier. So this is the Memories of More card that I cut the fussy cut, this paintbrush and mounted it on dimensionals onto the paintbrush. So I used the same card, I just popped this up. I wanted to pop the image up. This Hello is from a Memories of More card. This is a Memories of More card. Everything else is card stock. Um, yeah. Then I made this one from a Memories of More card pack. This is from the sticker sheet, so I use this sticker here, along with these butterfly, one of these, and some of the color stickers off of this sheet, like the pink and it was a yellow. Okay, now this Dream Big was from a Memories of More card pack, one of the cards. Okay, and this is from the card bases when I cut them down to five and a quarter, five and a half by four and a quarter. I have these strips left, so I added a piece of garden green in there. So you can see some of the stickers right here as well. I was mimicking this. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Because even this little banner is a sticker from this sheet. So I was just trying to recreate that. Okay, and then I have this one here that I used the same card right here in the background. You are my sunshine. I cut that off of one of the cards. This is from one of the cards. And I have a pecan pie base here with some the timber embossing folder. And I use some of the ombre matte dots to decorate on this one, okay? So those are all the cards that we made with this set. Well, not that we made, but we made those two. And these are the two cards, the three cards that I'm showing you. Then here's the other ones we did earlier or showed earlier. And these are the two that we did. Whoop, turn that around. There you go. That's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.